Hello everybody, it's me, Ember, and in this video I will be showing you how to get Munstorm. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to have a monster with self-destruct or explosion. If you have a Frodiary, which involves the rib bomb that you can get as a starter monster in this game, and the one that I've been using for most of these videos, just so I can level it up, uh, you can go to the training ground. If you have a quirky orb, which you can find in like the bottom of the ocean and by the rivers, if I see any later in this episode, I'll show you where. Then you'll scroll down, and you should be able to learn self-destruct and confirm. Okay, I apparently there we go. I learned self-destruct. Okay, so now you want to go over to uh, Whistleboro Cave, which is actually right over here. So you're just gonna walk over here to that cave over there. Yep. And that's just how it is. Okay. So go over into this cave. And. Do do do. Just walk through here. Just keep walking through here. You'll have to go through this cave like twice. In this one. So it's a little bit tedious. But it'll be fine. Okay then you can go ahead and hop down here. And go in here. Okay, so now this is a little bit of a maze. We did go through here before to get the R coin for Feral. Now if you turn around over here, you're going to go straight through to this back one. And then at the first choice you get, there are only a few choices that you need to make for this. You're going to go straight. So not right, straight. And then you're just going to follow the path for a while. There's no other decisions that you have to make for quite a bit. Just keep following the path. And make sure that you are, you are the self-destructor, because apparently it does not work if your friend is the one who self-destructs. Okay, now go over here, go through here, just keep following the path until you get to this room, and then you're going to go straight over to this blue room right here, and this will take you to the catacombs. Okay, again, the exact same place where we got the R coin for Feral. Okay, so just go through here. Make a right, make a left, skip that path, go over here. Okay, because we found the R coin for Feral right here. So you can grab that if you haven't already. You can go through here. Okay, actually don't go through there, don't follow me. Because you actually want to go in this one over here. The one that's closer to the stairs on the right. Okay, then make it over here. And then you're going to want to go here. And you're going to want to use self-destruct on these rocks right here. Boom. Self-destruct. Okay, then just respawn. Or whatever. You don't have to be the same monster again. You don't have to mutate again either. I just did for no random reason. Okay. And then, you know, the starting town is right there. So it shouldn't be too difficult for you to get back. Well, just kind of depending on what you started as. Look, oh my gosh, we're using the town as a starting point again. And you can go right through. All the way back to Whistleboro Cave. Okay. So just go over here. Go back to the cave. Oh, another thing I almost forgot. Okay. So you self-destructed that. And now actually you want to get the Ancient Flute. If you have not already. Which I will show you where to get that really quick. I do not believe it matters in what order you do it. So you can explode it first, then grab the ancient food, or, or grab the ancient food, explode it, and then just go all the way back. Okay, so if you don't already have the ancient food, because I just remembered that I don't actually have the ancient food on this, you're going to want to go this way. And then you're actually going to want to go through the left door really quick. And you're going to want to grab this flute right here. Okay, Ancient Flute. And we will use that for several different things. Okay. Now we're going to go back through and take the exact same path that we did before. So go forward. Go forward again. Then just follow the path back to that office area. Just follow. Just keep following the path. Go back over this way. And then just... Follow that way. And then go right over here. 
to this blue path right here. Okay, now you're gonna enter this. Back to the catacombs. Now you're gonna go. Uh, now you're going to want to go exactly back to where we were. So that way, that way. Skip that over here. And then take this upper path over here. Okay, then turn. Turn. And now this should be open. Now you're gonna see that one of the coffins should have like this white smoke sort of thing coming from it. So you're gonna go to your bag then key items, and use the ancient flute. And now we have Munstorm, because you have appeased the spirits in the coffin. So now if you click the power button, and you go back to your monster select screen, you should have Munstorm unlocked. Now you can press play, and he spawns in the desert, as is kind of expected. Okay, so that is all for this episode. If you need to see more guides, you can check them out on my channel there. Oh, and there's the quirky orb. See, you can get that, and that's what you need to teach new moves to your monsters. Anyway, that is all for this video. If you need more guides on how to get other monsters, I have a guide for every single one in the game. So you can check those out, and hopefully find what you are looking for. Anyway, that is it for this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!